have here a 2004 Tureg with a 3.2 liter VR6 engine and customers complain is it just won't go and uh, he had to tow it here and uh, when I started up in the parking lot it seemed to run rather smooth it's kind of weird but uh, it would not get out of its own way the driveway up to the garage is a slight incline and it barely pulled that incline I mean I was moving one mile per hour if that uh, to bring this in the bay the uh, check engine light was flashing so it was a misfire despite the fact that it seemed rather smooth I thought that was very unusual it, it was flashing the check engine light uh, didn't really seem to be misfiring despite the fact that it had no power whatsoever it seemed relatively smooth is why I'm saying it wasn't misfiring but let's check for trouble codes and we'll look at misfire data okay I did a quick scan of the engine computer I did not scan all the computers and you can see there are trouble codes for fuel injectors and random misfires uh, 4, 5, and 6. If I remember correctly, 4, 5, and 6 are on one bank. I wonder if uh, the fuel injectors for 4, 5, and 6 are powered from one area, like one fuse maybe. But obviously if the injectors aren't getting power, it will cause misfires on those cylinders. I uh, found it very strange that it wasn't really rough or shaky. Uh, it just had no power whatsoever, so maybe with the balance of this VR6 engine or something that it runs good on three cylinders. Uh, well, I shouldn't say it runs good, but it doesn't shake a lot on three cylinders. We'll pull up misfire data on 15 and 16 and see what uh, what it's showing. Okay, I'll reach in and start this. Okay, there's our misfire counters on 15 and 16, and you can see there 4, 5, and 6 are just going up constantly. We'll probably print a schematic. Since I'm, I'm going to assume that they're all powered from the same fuse, I'm going to check the fuse, fuse box real quick. And if I find a blown fuse, then I'll, I might be able to save myself printing a schematic. So I'll, um, let me check fuses real quick before I print a schematic. Okay, there is a fuse box under here. This one, that one's not in. I probably need the key on for this. Is that it right there? Looks like our second fuse we tried is a problem. Is a problem anyway, I don't know if it's the problem. Right out of there and see what it looks like. Got a new fuse here. Whoa! That scared me. Um, that just blew the fuse there, so that must indicate that there is a consistent problem or a direct short to ground uh, causing the fuse to blow. Um, this had injector trouble codes, so I'm going to assume it's a problem with the injectors. And these injectors are not easy to see. And we can see one of them right here, just barely. 
Yeah, I can see it. I don't know about you. There it is right in there between the fuel rail and the valve cover area. But the rest of them are you know, underneath, the, underneath here. Really, to get a good look at them, uh, you have to pull the intake. There's no way around it. Uh, the wiring comes out back here. Let me pull that plastic cover. Doing this one-handed. So I'm pretty sure this this wire goes all the way back here and terminates in this harness here. I don't want to wiggle these around too much and solve the problem, but uh, I'm going to give it a good visual real quick and then uh, I'll get back to video on once I find the problem. Okay, there is just nothing to see in this area here. I can't see any wiring problems. I cannot see the injectors except for just this bare glimpse of one right here. And um, I hope it's not something wrong up here. This box kind of wiggles around some. And there's some tree debris, maybe maybe a mouse. Uh, I cer certainly hope it ain't under the box here or in this area. Uh, that would make it nightmarishly hard to find. But I did take a quick look at a schematic. And not only are the injectors on that fuse, the, the, the bank two, or at least four, five, six, of the coils are on that. And I have had one before blowing a fuse, if, if I remember right. Um, so what I'm going to do is unplug these. These are... I always pull the coil up out of here in order to unplug them. It's going to be hard to do with one hand, but this one here... That one's broken anyway. And this one... I think I can pull that coil. Okay, I got these done plug. This one here was broken, so that one's can't really easy. These I have to, these you generally have to pull the coil up out of there in order to get that thing to unplug. But I got the, those three unplugged. What we'll do is we'll replace the fuse, start it up, and plug those in and see if the fuse blows. Okay, got some excellent news with regards to the diagnosis on this. With those coils unplugged, this fuse did not blow. I've already checked it, that's why I know. This fuse did not blow with those coils unplugged. So I am going to uh, hold this test light here and start plugging those in one at a time. Okay, so in these coils and, and the light goes out we know the fuse blows. That run better with that, that one plugged in. And as you can see the fuse, the light just went out when I plugged in this one. That means the fuse blew. I better verify that. Yes, it did blow. So, pretty clearly, it's number five coil is our problem. I'm going to go ahead and plug in this one and, and replace the fuse again. Drop the thing. As you can probably hear, it started running a lot better. Now, I'm not going to plug in that one because that blows the fuse, but now at least this cylinder is contributing and this cylinder is contributing. Let's go look at VADCOM to be sure.
And you can see there just number five has misfire counters on it. So <clears throat> I think we can be pretty confident that it's our coil causing the fuse to blow. But regardless, I think my uh, recommendation has to be to put a coil in it. be expected with that coil unplugged, a uh, cylinder 5 ignition circuit trouble code has reoccurred. And our check engine light did start flashing again. Is there a misfire code in there now? Yeah. So just a misfire code, misfire number 5 now. <clears throat> we'll get a coil pack ordered and I'll update you after, we get, after it gets here. Install this coil outside because it's just quick and easy. A lot of OEM coil. It's a slightly different color. Okay, first start up. Seems to run really good. I don't know if the fuse blew or not. No, there's no way that fuse blew because it's running too good. Check engine light's still on over there. But we will clear those codes and uh, take it for a road test to see how it does. Little side note here, after it starts di stops dinging at me, this has the brake light on and that is the park warning that the park brake is left on as I started to drive this car it started dinging at me telling me not to drive it with the park brake on and as you, as you can see there if I lift up on that that park brake uh, light goes out and um, these have a little shock absorber on them to keep them from rattling and well, there's a tech bulletin that when that shock absorber wears it'll make this problem happen and uh, i really think that's all this guy needs is that shock absorber so a little technical side note there okay i can't get the lighting any good inside the car so i'm gonna finalize this video outside and you can see my sign up there Whoop. you can see my sign up there on my building okay we finished up the road test on this tereg and it drove pretty good except it had a misfire on the number three so i pulled the bit uh the coil pack out of the number three and the the spark plug well was uh, full of engine oil and i was able to clean that out and the misfire did go away so at least at this point the customer's going to take it the way it is but i gave him an estimate for replacing the valve cover gasket which involves removing the intake and i suggested replacing the other coil packs because several of them were soaked in oil uh, the number five was not that we replaced this time was not but uh, so we gave, gave him an estimate on replacing some other quill packs but that's a big job and uh, he wants to choose to do it he's going to choose to do it later if you like learn anything from this video click the like button subscribe ask any questions down in the comments and if you want to donate to the continued production of these videos find the donate icon on my website at www.kansascitytdi.com